I'm Rick and I'm building Billy. Today I want to talk about ballasting and balancing. When I talk about ballasting I'm talking about adding weight to control the overall buoyancy of a spear gun, that is whether it sinks or floats. When I talk about balancing I'm talking about how it sits in the water, whether the front sits down or whether the front floats up or whether it lays level. Does ballasting and balancing matter? A spear gun that's ballasted close to neutral buoyancy is much easier to carry and much easier to extend your arm out than aim with it. A gun that's ballasted to be slightly heavy will sink and this will make it easier to find if you let it go. A gun that's balanced so to be slightly nose heavy gives you proprioceptive cues which help you intuitively understand where you're pointing it. A gun, if when it sinks, lays on the bottom with its tip pointing downwards, is much safer. I've yet to find out a way I can ballast or balance in the workshop. You've got to come down to the water, put it in seawater and work it out practically. The spear gun needs to be sealed before it goes down or else water will get into the timber. It also needs to be fully assembled so that you've got a real genuine check on what it's going to be like when you're out on the hunt. I've got a collection of sample weights, each one twice the weight of the next smaller one. I put the gun in the water and add weights until it just sinks. Then I move the weights backwards and forwards along the gun till the tip just starts to go down. I note the number and the position of those weights. Then I take it back to the workshop. Rinse off the salt water. And let it dry. I know the sinkers have nominal weights, but it's always better to check. I reckon that's so close to 420 grams, it doesn't matter. I reckon these four five lead weights will make a pretty well perfect match. Well, now the gun's been washed and dried, I brought it to the workshop. I cut the appropriate holes for the lead. For the star-shaped leads, I used a round hole, a drill. For the skull-shaped leads, I had to make a special jig which would fit the shape of the skull. And then I could um, route it. I dropped the lead weights into the appropriate pockets. And poured in clear embedding resin to fix them in there. When the resin had set, I sanded it down flush with the surface of the spear gun. It looks a bit rough when it's just been sanded, but after it's been fine sanded and then coated with varnish, it'll become quite clear and you'll be able to see the lead weights without too much trouble at all. That's it for this video, but the next step is finishing and varnishing.